Hello everybody and welcome to my channel and uh, hit the like button and please subscribe. I'm going to bring up a article here and uh, see what we've come into. Um, I always got to do some organizing here. And let's get rid of the, some of that. And uh, get rid of that one. Okay. Move this over just a little bit. And I don't know why this does that. But uh, I have more problems here when I want to get to what I want to get to. <laughs> and I just don't understand why it does it. But it does it. And I have to keep organizing it. Pulling it out. Saudi Arabia condemns Biden administration for trying to manipulate OPEC for political gains. Why not? That's Biden for you. <clears throat> Alrighty. Well, on Thursday, the Foreign Minist Ministry of Saudi Arabia issued a statement condemning the Biden administration for trying to manipulate OPEC for political gains in the upcoming midterm elections. Why not? That's Biden's way of doing things. You know? <clears throat> and it says here, Saudi Arabia torches Biden for trying to pressure OPEC into not cutting oil production before midterms. OPEC had recently announced a, a severe sever cut severe cut to their production, a move quickly denounced by both sides of the aisle in the United States. Mm -hmm. In response, Biden administration vowed to review its relationship with Saudi Arabia, warning that the country would face consequences for the oil production cuts. You know, Biden gets his butt into these predicaments, then he tries to conjure his way out any way he knows how. Ugh. They reached out to Saudi officials to negotiate a compromise on the oil production decrease, which would almost assuredly result in a rise of the price of gas. And we don't need that. Officials also worry that the move may bluster Russia. I'll be right back. I gotta pause. Okay, I'm back. Officials, and I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Officials also worried that the move may bluster uh, Russia, a key member of OPEC plus, in their ongoing invasion of Ukraine. By decreasing oil production, economists believe gas prices will increase. Well, sure they will. Meaning Russia will be paid more handsomely for one of its most uh, valuable exports. U.S. politicians have repeatedly suggested that Saudi Arabia is working in concert with Russia to finance the war in Ukraine. The Saudi Foreign Ministry issued a response on Thursday. The Kingdom affirms that outcomes of the OPEC Plus meetings are adopted through consensus among member states, that they are not based on the unilateral decision by a single country. The statement read, the statement also revealed that Saudi Arabia receives requests from the Biden administration to delay the cuts to oil production by one month. The implication is that a delay could help Democrats in the midterm elections on November 8th. Oh, I'd like to say something right now, but I won't. Reporters asked Secretary of State Anthony J. Blinken about the plot. Blinken said they asked OPEC Plus to wait until their November meeting to officially decrease oil production so that the organization could analyze the market following summer surges. Despite Biden's visit to Saudi Arabia early this year, the relationship with the country remains strained. Karen Young, a senior research fellow at Columbia University Center on Global Energy Policy, uh, said the rift began in 2020. This has been going on since the beginning of the Biden administration Young said, it was never repaired, and I think, unfortunately, the language 
the Biden administration is using, it just debases the relationship and makes it harder to rebuild. She's got a good point there, don't she? Yeah, she sure does. Boy, I'll tell you, that Biden is something else. There's a lot of things I'd like to say, but <laughs> you know. <laughs> Oh, they're all keeping my mouth shut, huh? <laughs> my, oh my, oh my. Well, oh, uh, let's see. Let's put this one up here, which I thought I had done, but I guess I didn't. Okay. Let's, uh, this one, um, We'll check out real quick. Federal agencies demands Arizona remove patches along incomplete border wall. Now this is really interesting. I got a kick out of this one, but I just hope it works. I'm not sure because they're against it. Yeah, the big wigs, you know. Amid ongoing border crisis punctuated by a record high rate. Of illegal immigration, a number of Republican governors have taken the initiative to act in ways that they say the Biden administration simply will not. Recent reports, however, reveal that the White House has launched an effort to halt and reverse the steps being taken by Arizona officials to stem the tide of undocumented Im immigrants crossing into the state. Now, why would Biden stop that? What is his purpose? I still ain't figured that one out quite yet. I wish you would let me know if you if you know what's going on. You know, why does he want to keep those immigrants coming in here? Well, I seen a notice of Pelosi where she was making a statement on camera uh, to where, well, we need immigrants. We need cheap workers here in the United States. So, it's like I said in another video earlier. You get immigrants in here, sure, they're going to work cheap. They're just damn happy to be here. But what does that do to the people that are U.S. citizens that were born and raised here and have jobs? And they just got a raise, you know, that they had been looking forward to for years. And they just got that raise. What would... Will that do to that raise? Will they down that now from the American workers and let the immigrants take over? I'm telling you, the rats are out to play. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, now I lost my place. Where was I? I get so upset over this. Because it's upsetting the American people. The workers. Now, if they hire these immigrants at a lower wage, how's that going to rebuild the economy? And how much are they going to tax those immigrants out of their lower wages? Are they going to be able to survive if Pelosi and Biden have their way about it? And whoever else is behind them? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Earlier this year, GOP Gov Doug Ducey initiated a program that would fill in border wall gaps along the state's border with Mexico using large shipping containers. He explained that the stop gap measure would be quicker, more effective, less expensive than other options. What a good thinker. About time we had somebody that used some brains. Nevertheless, the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation, 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 uh, I'll get there, people. I'll get there. Intervened by sending state officials a letter demanding that they remove a total of 122 containers that were deemed to be either on the federal agency's property or lands owned by the Cocopa Indian tribe. Now they're trying to involve the Indians. <laughs> Jesus, <God. laughs> 
Do you feel like you might be on a wagon train? <laughs> you know? <laughs> Circle them wagons. Round them up. The Indians are coming. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Lord. A spokesperson for the governor confirmed that the administration plans to fight the order. While the federal agency claims that the U.S. Customs and Border Protection Project is underway to close existing gaps in the border, federal inaction thus far in the Biden administration was a central reason for Ducey's decision to intervene at the state level. The governor first hinted at the project during a state of the state address in January, asserting, our southern borders have never been more deadly and more dangerous. Meanwhile, the White House and Congress have decided to turn a blind eye, and they have, haven't they? This is a national crisis. It calls for leadership. We ain't had no leadership in two years. No, we haven't. We all know it. At that time, he vowed that anywhere the state can add physical barriers to the border, we will. He approved of the shipping container installations came in August, at which time he announced some of the important details regarding the project. Following the historic investment in this year's state budget, forged in partnership with legislative leaders, we've taken a major step forward to secure our border, Ducey said. Five wide open gaps in the border uh, wall near Yuman, Y-U-M-A-N, Yuman, neighborhoods and businesses are now closed off in just 11 days. Arizona did the job the federal government has failed to do. And we showed them just how quickly and efficiently the border can be made more secure if you want to. Lord have mercy. Thank God somebody's doing something. There may be some positivity overriding the negativity soon. I'll be back. Let me find my little video button here, and I'll be back, and you are a blessing.